Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we're doing an end credit tutorial on how to do a bow. Now this is like an actual bow with the animation. It works with other arrows from other mods, like it's fully compatible. And it's pretty tough, so you have to have a bit of Java knowledge. And by that I mean like you have to be able to code a little bit. You don't need much at all, like I can't even really code and I know how to do this. So to start this off, you're gonna need four bow textures. Um, basically, you just need one bow, and then you need like the three different states of them. So you have the normal bow without an arrow. You have the first pulling part, the second pulling part, and the last one is the third pulling part. So you're gonna have to make these. You can use the regular bow textures to test it out. Then you can like change them. But yeah, see, look at Phoenix bow, Phoenix bow pulling zero, pulling one, and pulling two. Make sure they have that at the end. It's a lot less confusing if you have that at the end. So now that you have the four bow textures, you want to go over here. Go create a new item and name it um, the name of your bow. Make sure it's like around the same as the texture because it's kind of confusing if it's not. And make it the basic one. You can add something like, I don't know. So you could add something like quicker than normal bow or like slower. Uh, the creative tab, uh, you can make your own, but I'm going to use the combat one. You're going to want to set the max stack size to 1. None of this other stuff really matters, but you could set the enchantability. I don't actually know if that'll work for enchanting table with like bow things, but you know, I don't, I actually, I don't know yet. Um, for durability, you can set it to like, I don't know, 500 or something like that. You don't want to enable food properties, you don't want to enable things like, or any of this random stuff. And you're going to want to click save mod element. So now you have the phoenix bow as an item, but now you're going to have to click on the lock code button. Go into the code, go to phoenixbowitem.java, see where it says the durability 500 we set, you know. So where it says extends item, you're going to want to change the word item to bow item, just like this. And then you're going to want to click Control w and it'll add this thing, because that's how it works with the import, it imports like the classes. And also, if you put like a text for your thing, it'll show the text right here. So yeah, this is kind of how the Minecraft item works. Now you're just going to want to click Control s and it'll save. Now you're going to want to add a new thing and you're going to want to give a custom element. So now you're going to want to name it mod item properties, like just like this, and click create new custom element. All this stuff will pop up. So for this, you're just going to want to delete all this code. Then on my desktop, I have something saved. This is the mod item properties code. By the way, a disclaimer, this is an M Creator forum that someone posted. It was posted by I'm Odd 102 so shout out to him for the actual code and everything. I'm just making a video tutorial on it, so it's a lot less, like, confusing. Because when I first did it, I had to tweak around with all the things, and it was kind of confusing, to say the least. So yeah, I'm just making a video tutorial, so it's a bit less confusing. I'll link his thing in the description so that's where you can get all the code from. So basically I set this up so Phoenix Bow and the mod name is Tutorial uh, if you look at my thing. And you always have to add mod at the end of your mod. So basically you want to name it the name of the bow for this part. This part is how fast the bow goes. So for this part, if, since it's faster than a normal bow, you go like 15 and that'll be faster than a normal bow. So basically for this part you make it the name of your bow, so Phoenix Bow. Um, this thing right here, Phoenix Bow, right there, it has to be all capitalized. And then this, you add the name of your mod, and then the word mod items after it, just like this. Since the name of my mod is Tutorial, we would just add that right here, and yeah, we can just copy this over. And then what we're going to want to do is go into Mod Item Properties, and just go right here and add it in. Control W, Control S, and there you go. Now what you want to do is go into Workspace, Workspace Settings, Advanced Settings, Block Base Mod Files. Now say if you do this and then you try to create like a new block or something, it's going to have an error when you load the game. So what you're going to want to do is add the bow, like the last thing in your mod, because if you don't, it'll break and you know, M Creator won't really work properly. Yeah, I've done that before and I tested it out and yeah, that's what happens. So next what you're going to want to do is go over here and drag this thing out and then like this will pop up go to source net m creator tutorial which is in or the name of your mod and go to the name it see a tutorial mod you want to go to the, this thing right here this thing will pop up see basically right here this is where like the registry is and if you lock the base um, mod files with the settings up here it'll not load any of the other things the only things is items and tabs so it won't work for the rest of the things like I'll only be able to create items and it works so if I try to create a block it won't work 
So basically just add the bow. Once you're done making your mod, then you can add the bow or like finish it up. So what you're gonna wanna add here is some of this code. It's um, the tutorial mod code, which is the name of this thing right here. So we're just gonna first off grab this thing. Again, this code is linked in the M Creator forum that was posted by some other dude, not me. All props to him for the actual code. And then you're just gonna add this right here uh, below um, these registers and then then you're gonna want to go back to the Java code this thing right here and where it says private code mod and properties add custom properties and you're gonna want to add it uh, around right around right here just like there private void and there you go so you have that code and since we locked the base mod files which is this um, file right here we can just put that to the side and close it for now. So next thing we're gonna do is to actually make the pulling animation for the bow. So what we're gonna do is go to bow JSON code, which again, linked in the forum, in the description that I'm gonna put. So basically right here, it just has the different texture file names and then the name of my mod. And it's pretty simple, but it says model here, so we're gonna have to get into that a bit, a bit uh, later in the tutorial, but like only a few minutes. What we're gonna wanna do is go into this um, JSON file, if you double click on this, and Phoenix bow, you're gonna wanna paste it in, or, or you're gonna have to change it to the new your mod files and the name of your mod, the mod ID. So basically, you just have to do that, and then, yeah, click save with control S, and you can exit out of that. We're almost done. What you're gonna wanna do is click on workspace, open workspace folder, source, main, resources, assets, the name of your mod, uh, models, item, and then you're gonna see the model of your item, which is this thing right here. What you're gonna wanna do is copy that, and then name it to Phoenix Bow, colon, zero. And then you're gonna wanna go back to this, the Jason, um, Bow Jason pulling code, and basically just grab the first one right here. Um, by the way, it's linked in the description. You're gonna have to manually put like, the different name of your bow like the forum is linked in the description and you have to manually put it in manually I don't know how to speak so just paste it in and item slash phoenix bow that's the name of the mod element or the mod item so there's this mod ID right here I guess I forgot to change it but you know it's fine tutorial there we go and yeah there you go control s to save it again and yeah so basically you just have to copy this over so we can actually close this now because we have the code. Um, just copy this and then it'll say polling one. There we go. Now change this to polling one and just save it. Copy it again. Change it to polling two. Change this to polling two. There we go. And now this should be done. So let's see if it works in game. Okay, well, it looks like there's an error in the code, so it's not doing the animation. So I guess I'll just go fix it. Okay, so I was getting an error here, but basically all I have to do is just click Control W and it'll reformat it and it'll fix all of it. So yeah, I, I took a couple minutes for me to figure it out, but you know, just Control W, it just reformats the code. Okay, now let's try it out. Oh, that doesn't work. Well, looks like I gotta go fix the code again. Okay, well I figured out what the problem was. You can't have an S right here, so basically what I'm gonna do is just go to all these JSON files and remove the S. That's how simple the fix was. So yeah, I feel pretty dumb. Okay, let's see if it works now. Yep, there we go. So I really just had to remove the S's and reformat the code. I feel pretty dumb, but you know, I at least got um, the bow working. So next episode we might make an arrow. I, I haven't actually done it before, so it'll be a new one for me. I don't think I'll do it, but you know, I might think of it. I've never made an arrow. Because you have to do like, an NP, you have to do a, a texture, and it's really comp complicated. So yeah. Um, so yeah, that's the bow. Um, it's working. It's faster than our one bow, I'm pretty sure. So if we go to normal bow. So we, this, is, this is the speed of normal bow, and this is the speed of the phoenix bow. It's a bit faster. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It's pretty short, pretty simple, but it's, you know... It's actually not the most simple thing, it's more advanced than a lot of other tutorials. And and again, it wasn't me that made the code or the, the original tutorial. I just made a video thing of it, a video tutorial. The other one was an M Creator forum, so you can go, I'll link it in the description and you can go get the code from there and see 
uh, the normal dude. All props to the normal dude. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you did. And yeah, see you in the next episode. Got him!